When your company rises several hundred percent in its stock price within a span of a few months, it'd be easy to see it as a staple in the future of its industry. How do you manage that with a mixed pass of volatility and doubt with every high-profile investor and professional betting against you? This is the story of Tesla, the American electric automaker. A company that never had it easy and always chose to break tradition is now throwing their hat in the ring of a reliably stubborn industry, pickup trucks. Of course, to be competitive, Tesla needs their truck to provide substantive selling points at a good price. And when this Cybertruck was unveiled, jaws dropped. The shock was widespread, from the design to the specs, and finally, with the price. The steel monster starts at $40,000, to everyone's surprise. But how is this possible? Tesla is widely regarded as a premium automaker, even if some of their cars have dropped in price over their years in production. So how is the Cybertruck this competitive right out of the gate? Let's find out as we explore this unconventional electric pickup. First off, let's catch up with the Cybertruck's speculative history up to its reveal. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has been long alluding to an electric pickup truck to be produced, even as far back as 2012, soon following his entry into the automaker. At that time, it was purely an idea, and that was the extent of public knowledge, until 2016, when he further outlined what he wanted this truck to do. Aspiring to introduce a new kind of consumer pickup truck, Musk continued to tease Tesla fans with the idea of using a van's chassis for the vehicle and be big enough to enable a game-changing feature. Keeping in character for the CEO, he shrouded his plans in mystery, including at the Tesla Semi event in 2017, where he revealed a concept photo that he described as a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. At this point, it was clear to the public that the truck was approaching a reveal of its own soon, and Musk confirmed those suspicions the following year, stating a prototype would be ready for 2019. This turned out to be true, as on November 21st, the Cybertruck rolled in front of the public eye for the first time. While the build-up to the reveal might have been hyped immensely, does Cybertruck live up to it? Even though it won't be entering production until late 2021, we do have lots of details, and they've proven to be intriguing and unconventional. The most polarizing aspect is, without a doubt, the design. The Cybertruck starts off its departure from a normal pickup by rethinking how it should look altogether. Extremely angular with sharp corners and straight lines all over, it's been compared to everything from a spaceship to a preschooler's sketch of a truck. And while this may make or break the decision for many customers, Tesla is unapologetic in breaking the traditions that the industry has set. The foundational exoskeleton is made from stainless steel and Tesla's proprietary armor glass, claiming extreme durability anywhere you look. Around back, the bed of the truck is 6.5 feet long and 100 cubic feet, which is covered by a rolling tonneau cover, prompting Tesla to dub the truck as the Vault, citing the extra security provided. And finally, we have the specs. Sure. Yeah. Oh my God. The base Cybertruck has a 0 to 60 speed of under 6.5 seconds, a 7,500 pound towing capacity, and over 250 miles of range. When notching it up to the highest end model, the 0 to 60 plummets to 2.9 seconds. It can tow 14,000 pounds, and the range doubles to 500 miles. And to top it all off, in traditional Tesla fashion, you can toss on their full self driving software for an extra $10,000. This truck packs some serious power, and with the serious hype that's preceded, Tesla needed to deliver, and when the trucks start going out to people, presumably next year, we'll know if they truly did. And of course, the reception to Cybertruck's unveiling came with many questions. Walking speed is three miles an hour, so it's like only one third walking speed at one mile an hour. Why design it like that instead of a traditional pickup truck? Will the armor glass windows actually be durable when they cracked during the demo? While questions like these remain relevant, there's one other one we want to focus on, and that's the stunning price point this truck is sitting at to start. As mentioned, for a premium automaker that doesn't blink twice at prices that breach six figures, how does a brand new electric pickup truck manage to fall safely in the mid-range of their lineup? The answer is less complicated than you might think, and it comes down to one major concept, streamlining. 
it's easy to misunderstand Cybertruck's spot in Tesla's maturity over the years. While the automaker has previously started cars at $50,000 and above, if you look at the present lineup, it's clear that their time in the market has had a huge impact. Tesla isn't a small startup anymore. In fact, it's the most valuable automaker on Earth, over GM, Ford, and any other. On top of that, Tesla has had record quarters back-to-back -back throughout 2020, tied in with a several hundred percent boom in their stock price. Truck, a gasoline truck that's ten dollars to $15,000 less. This success has led them to be able to build up their infrastructure and drop the prices of their other cars, even as low as $35,000 to start for the Model 3 sedan. And while this streamlining is undoubtedly helping keep Cybertruck's price low, a different type of streamlining is what drives it down the most. Ironic enough, the main criticism of the Cybertruck is actually the biggest reason it's so cheap. That's right, the design. The ever-joked-about, hyper-divisive geometric look has actually managed to provide Tesla with an incredibly competitive price tag. First, the exterior. Unlike most trucks that spend time and money on shaping the metal to look traditionally appealing, Tesla is using flat sheets of steel all over. These don't just cut costs either, they actually stand to be much more durable since their cold rolled variant of steel is so tough that it can't be shaped much without snapping. This also applies to the extremely minimal interior, only absolutely needing to add seats and the display up front. Uh, may see our little larger screen than what we used to carry. While it might seem more boring, the extra savings is likely appreciated by many. Painting is another expense Tesla can cross out right away, as the industrial and raw appearance of the truck is what they're going for. It would be difficult to effectively paint the stainless steel anyways, so they've decided to just embrace the negatives of the material and pass on the reduced costs to the consumer. As a bonus, the aerodynamics are functionally excellent, inversely made easier by the limits the stainless steel imposes on the design. When keeping it simple with a triangular top and a smooth surface on both the front and back, air is free to flow uninterrupted and allows for sub 3 second 0 to 60 speeds on the high end Cybertruck. On the surface, the design might have seemed like a statement, but rest assured, it's rooted in a deep understanding of cost reduction and aerodynamics. The Tesla Cybertruck is on track to enter production later this year, with shipping likely within a year or two of that. Maintaining price at what they've marketed will undoubtedly be a huge challenge. However, for all of its quirks, from the eye catching design to the monstrous profile, it could serve as the beacon of a new direction for Tesla. Much like how the Model 3 was the indicator that they can sell a more affordable version of their popular electric cars. The Cybertruck could be the indicator that more specialized vehicles are on the way from the automaker. And if they can manage to successfully launch this vehicle, a brilliant future is slated to unfold, ignited by potentially Tesla's biggest risk yet. Before finishing this video, we would like to know your thoughts about the Cybertruck. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.